I have a question for you. Have you ever worried about what other people think of you? Many of us define ourselves by the thoughts and the opinions of others. We think to ourselves, what will she say? What will he think? What if I told you there's a way to eradicate the incessant thought processes, the incessant worry? The reason behind your apprehensions is lack of love. To be exact, the lack of love to yourself. Self-love creates an inner compass which you trust completely, implicitly, and this compass allows you to focus on your thoughts and your opinions rather than the thoughts and the opinions of others. So I took my time and typed in self-love into the dictionary. What came out was the short description, conceit, vanity, narcissism. This definition gives us the wrong idea about self-love and tells us it's destructive, while in fact it's exactly the opposite. Self-love allows you to express yourself in every aspect of your life, and it is no different than love to other people. And you can only give love when you love yourself, because love always creates more love. So to start off, uh, self-love makes you feel passionate, it makes you feel cared for, safe, and loved. It makes you feel like you're more than enough. And you can finally step into your own shoes and prove to everyone that you are your own person. So having explored the genesis of the omnipresence of lack of self-love, we can move on to practices which will allow you to express yourself. So you must be asking yourself, is there anything I will have to sacrifice? In fact, there is nothing. All you have to do is follow certain practices, reach understandings, and make choices. The first step you can choose is love mantras. Love mantras are, are as simple as, I love you, and you can insert your name, or you are doing the best you can, or you can do better, but it will be the next time. These love mantras said out loud create sound, and sound is vibrations, and then your mind, body, and soul will attune to the vibrations, and leave you feeling all nice and cozy. So say positive things to yourself, smother and mother yourself with love, shower yourself with positivity in order to love yourself more and express love towards others. One of the roots, one of the uh, main things about self-love is self-compassion. You should have understanding for yourself, as uh, self-criticism is our second nature. We can all agree with that, that we are very critical of ourselves, and we tend to see the mistakes of our actions and the bad consequences instead of the positive aspects of our decisions. But in fact, there are no right or wrong choices. Every choice is a lesson, and each lesson leads to improvement. So when you make a, make a mistake on a test, the next time you won't make it. So that's your lesson. That is an everyday example, but it stretches out to the future. Also, um, you might be asking yourself now, Okay, what about relationships? Should I fully devote myself to the other person or should I put myself first? Actually, uh, living in constant fear, apprehension of your actions and of your words leads to toxicity. And toxicity is something very common nowadays in relationships and what is interesting, it actually stems from lack of self-love. So when you fully accept all of your behaviors, it is a lot easier to understand and accept the behaviors of your loved ones. Because once you come to the conclusion that the relationship with yourself is the most important one of all the relationships, everything just goes 
easily. And these steps are to be taken slowly, but remember, you cannot get water out of a stone. So first, you have to fill yourself up to give to others. Also, it is crucial to understand that your outward achievement does not uh, define your value. You are the only one eligible to define yourself. It is you who tells you who you are. It's not any other person. It's not your mom, it's not your friend, it's not your peers. Someone might tell you, you look stupid today. And you choose not to agree with that. And a person who loves oneself will not, will not uh, say something like that. So it gives you an information about the other person, not about yourself. So what I would recommend is to focus on yourself, to put yourself first, and to see love within each of your actions. And always remember that uh, there's nothing more powerful than a person that loves themselves.